Hey y'all, it's your girl Lady J and welcome to my channel, The Southern Lounge Room, where I bring you the updates of female rap and urban dudes. Now before I get into the tea, y'all, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my little channel to help me grow and turn on and post notifications so you're not missing a sip of the tea. And lounge with me on Instagram and Twitter at Lady J Lounge Room to help me get them followers up and stuck, chat. First topic I gotta get into is none other than the baby trolling Megan and Stallion Sunday by playing her verse to her song Crybaby without her, okay? And at that, it was right after she performed. And also, this Negro had the nerve to bring out Tory Lanez. Now, you can say what you want, but this was intentional. The baby know what to do to get people talking, to boost them streams, and to, you know, take the heat off of his alleged baby and alleged baby mama number three he got on the way, child. <laughs> Allegedly. So, anyways, if you don't know, the baby did bring out Tory Lanez during his Rolling Out performance on Sunday, right after Megan Thee Stallion said. Now, a little bit of backstory. Last month, the baby and Megan did have a public falling out on Twitter when the baby allegedly retweeted a shady tweet on Twitter that said this. I guess the baby and Tory Lanez cool now because they both shot somebody and don't have to do no jail time. Now, when the baby was called out, he said that he didn't mean to do it and it was unintentional. He claimed Twitter did it and it was not his beef and that it was all cap. Now, Megan responded by saying this. Support me in private and publicly do something different. These industry men are very strange. This situation ain't no ZM beef and I really wish people would stop playing it down like it's some internet ish for likes and retweets. Then she went on to say, just as slow as we have all to see, back to my good day. So Megan Air, I don't think the situation is anything to make light or fun of, especially if she was shot by Tory. So all we have is alleged information. So until things play out in court, I believe people shouldn't speak on it because it's disrespectful to the parties involved who can't even speak on it themselves. But nevertheless, the baby responded to Megan by saying this. You don't let these folks get the best of you, thug. I don't got no bad energy for you. You know, like I know, I ain't no industry nigga. Let them fool you into thinking that you tripping. Stand on what you stand on without feeling like I'm against you. Stay focused, my G. But Megan responded by saying this. My stance hasn't changed at all. Yours has. We already talked about this in private and you specifically said that ain't even no good business move. Why would I promote that ish? But now this ain't your beef. That ain't real. But you stay on your business, my G. Now that was last month, okay? So only just that was only a few weeks ago. Now fast forward to Sunday, okay, and the baby brings out Tory Lanes. You brought this man out to the same place that you knew she would be at right after her set. Like it's pretty childish, but I mean, what else can we expect from a grown ass man who refers to himself as a baby while laying it low and spreading it wide, creating multiple real babies in the process? Allegedly. Now, I can be hard on Megan sometimes, even though it's just tough love because I got love for my this sis, I do. But I gotta keep it real and say I really feel like she been falling out with one too many people. Now the baby is trolling. He in the wrong, period. And you know what he said in regards to that ignorance BS with the who pe with the people who live with HIV and AIDS. What he said was really unnecessary. And he added more fuel to his fire. So it's safe to say he done dug himself a hole by himself. However, at the same time, you know, I can't help but to notice that Megan has fallen out with quite a few people in a short time frame. Last year it was Kelsey, her best friend, okay, as we all know some of her date ones that she came into this industry with who was always on her instagram stories and lives of her she fell out with a lot of them she left asian doll out to drive behind the city girls i can't tell you the last time i seen jonathan do her hair remember she stayed having jonathan around now she don't even follow him on the ground no more so she didn't had a fallout with queen onika because why she sending shots in that thought ish song which should really been called talk my ish like i said before because that's all she was doing what no thought ish being talked about so regardless of that front that she's doing with cardi b to make them look like they're cool y'all gotta realize that things happen behind scenes especially when you're on the same label as me y'all should know that because she was shading her in that live she did with nikki like i said So yeah, they're going to be cool for the public and the press, but y'all see Megan couldn't even remember to thank or acknowledge Cardi when she accepted the BET award for WAP last month. Like how you forget to thank the artist whose song it was that featured you. Never have I seen that, but you know, I digress. Argue with your mom. Speaking of Megan, like I said, you know I'm hard on Megan, but it's tough love because at the end of the day, she is a young black woman getting to her bag just like I am, and I can't be mad or hate on that. However, the streets is talking, and you know she played her hottest songs that were loud. One of those being Hot Girl Summer, which was Megan's first, okay, let me say that again, first 
top 20 single okay and that was in the summer of 2019 so like i talked about in my last video there is a lot of power in a Nicki Minaj feature we've seen it with Bia Bia albums that now charted and she's in the top 20 on Billboard all off of a Nicki feature Doja Say So went number one after Nicki hopped on it Motorsport was only talked about because Nicki was on it okay with another new female rapper which propelled that song so I mean collabing with her is a come up now what I found kind of interesting is Megan performed her song WAP okay one of her hottest songs and she played Cardi's verse she performed Savage another one of her hottest songs and played Beyonce's verse but when she got to Hot Girl Summer the song that catapulted her relevance and career, she chose not to play Nicki's verse. Ironically, the Bia performed Whole Lot of Money remix and played Nicki's verse. And truth be told, Bia could have just played the original song, but she played the remix because she know that's what's hot and that's what got her to the point that she's at right now. Now, I am very aware of time slots and whatnot before y'all feel the need to flip my comments about it. I just thought it was interesting she played Cardi's part and Beyonce's part and not Nikki's. When you consider the fact that Megan was throwing shots in Thought-ish, she was also throwing shots in that bankroll fresh song, whatever. Nikki done unfollowed Megan at the be beginning of the year, okay? So you gotta look at all of that, okay, before just brushing it off. I believe it was intentional. But the fact that they had limited time slots is, of course, the easiest unbelievable cop-out to use, okay? Which is not really going to make people question her like that because it's very believable. Keep it real, the bigger artists at the Rolling Loud get more time because they have over 100 people to perform at Rolling Loud. Half of them are unknown to the crowd. The headliners are the bigger names that people really came to see, like the baby, Megan Thee Stallion, Travis Scott, and etc. So they gonna get more time than someone like Lil Skies and Lil Ticka. Y'all know who they are? No, y'all don't. But they performed at Rolling Loud, which is my point. Nobody know them. Nobody's checking for them like that, okay? So they is not gonna get the same time as Megan Thee Stallion or the baby, okay? Money talks. And you don't have to be in the industry to know that. Now, the last topic I gotta get into is none other than Cardi B going off on people on Twitter again. <laughs> so Cardi been making headlines with these blogs the past few weeks. And honestly, I believe sis should just hop off the internet till that baby get here. Because she's stressing herself out and always feeling the need to respond. Not everything warrants your response since that takes time and energy. But continuing with the mess, Cardi B, you know, retweeted a tweet that was basically saying she didn't need to be on the wild side song with Normani. Okay. With the Twitter user saying this. This might be a hot take, honestly. Cardi should have been on the remix idk why y'all didn't release this song as her solo single i get why she's on it but should have been the remix in my humble opinion and in my most humble opinion i agree with this user and honestly i believe most of the general public agrees with this user too as well from not just what i've seen on blogs but in the comment sections and on twitter and just from talking to personal friends and family and getting their opinions on the song and many people felt since this was normani's comeback she should have done this as a solo okay but her team felt like she needed someone even more so that someone to be cardi to sell a record or to chart which insults normani's talent the song was dope but i would have been okay if cardi was not on the song now cardi responded of course because anyone who does not agree with her is a hater allegedly so cardi said this same people that say this ish is the same people that didn't buy ish don't request on radio not stream and not add no value or numbers to the song but opinions on twitter for a hit tweet because hating but keeping up with cardi is what's in and this was literally not attacking cardi at all all they said was that she could have been on the remix instead of the original which i actually agree with and like i said most of the general public most has the same stance because one user responded with this I literally have the same take as them and still streaming the ish out of it so and I agree with them because I stream for Normani and the song is dope but Cardi really could have been fine on a remix if she had to be on there it could have been a remix but Cardi responded by saying this well from this day forward I won't promote or talk about the song until Normani team release a version without my vocal yay now you wish and desires came true make sure you stream it though don't have me making calls for no reason which I find very telling and problematic because what does Normani have to do with you getting upset over people's opinions on Twitter? So Normani has to take a hit because you feel the need to give everything a response and reaction. If that's the case, you should not have been on the song at all, allegedly. Then another tweets, y'all know she trolling, right? You know, yeah, I guess this person was trying to convince people that she was not serious about promoting the song, which Cardi responded and said, I'm not trolling, been getting disrespected up and down and ignoring because I love the song and the person, but me and my fans not finna keep getting disrespected. Now, 
you have not been ignoring anything because you've been responding to critics since the song dropped check my female rap team playlist out y'all okay cardi been responding and still responding when everything doesn't need a response people are gonna have opinions and it does not mean they are quote-unquote hating then cardi responds to a user who says y'all harass and provoke cardi and then act surprised if she says something in retaliation to which cardi said facts which i don't agree with these celebs get harassed and provoked daily she ain't the first or the last you have to develop thick skin when you're in this industry and realize not everything warrants a response especially when it's someone's literal opinion it's not slander it's not lies it's not life-threatening it's literally opinion about the music but you know who is slandered and harassed and lied on cupcake and she called out your fans about it last week to which you said nothing about but barty gang being her mentions going ham every other week and cupcake called you out on it allegedly and megan so how about addressing that instead of someone else's opinions about your music and if y'all want the tea on that whole cupcake situation i will link it above in this video and in the description box below okay in the meantime party b baby let it go so that baby go let it go so y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a sip of the tea and lounge with your girl on instagram and twitter at lady j lounge room i look forward to reading your thoughts and comments below on all this mess child I'll lounge with y'all soon. Bye for now, y'all.